Taurus, hi, welcome to your read. We're going to be looking at the tarot for you this week. These are general reads, so take what resonates, leave the rest for everybody else. If you'd like a personal read, my email's in the description below. Feel free to email me for an astrology birth chart or your personal tarot. I also have my social media links listed below. If you just like to get to know me personally, feel free to follow me on Instagram where I update stories and reels almost daily. You got a lot of jumpers here, Taurus. We're not taking any of those, so. So, I hope you guys enjoy the new format. Um, is it going to be a permanent thing on my channel? I don't think so. Um, you guys know I'm a Leo. I don't have a problem showing my face on camera. But it's nice to change things up sometimes, right? I kind of understand why some YouTube tarot card readers do it this way too, because you have to worry less about your facial expressions for the camera. And I like to call it the tarot card face uh, pre law. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Hints, I guess. Like when we make a face, when we see a card, uh, I guess I don't have to see, like, if Three of Swords comes out, like, I don't have to make that face where everyone's like, oh no. <laughs> but this is definitely just something new I wanted to do. I've been trying to do this for a while, so what better time than now? All right, Taurus, so let's see what we get here for you in the past. You have the Page of Chalices. Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Um, something looks stable, like almost a marriage uh, here. Ace of Pentacles with the Strawberries and the Emperor. I think these are just kind of like mundane changes within the aspect of a relationship. And then the gift here, Four of Chalices and the High Priestess, and you know, then there's changes that happen here. Um, we'll check to see what that is. You get one of, uh, you get two of these special Oracle cards that are part of this deck. I'll have to explain later what they mean um, in depth, and we'll go over that. Mm. Okay, Taurus, so let's start your read here. You had the page of chalice here. Now, when I see this card at the beginning of a read, it's somebody expressing all their emotions, all their love for you without any fear, without any hesitation. This could have been you. It's on your side. But I'm, I'm really being strongly pulled that this happened to you, that somebody expressed a lot of emotion and a lot of loyalty and love to you here in the past. Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant next to it is the indication of that this was something stable and something that was structured, well thought of. Like uh, all the... T's were crossed and all the I's were dotted here when this came together. There's no doubt about that. Um, for some of you, this could have been a marriage. A lot of you may have been a marriage. Or a lot of you, this could be... Um, just something that came with the promise of marriage at the end. Now, in the present energy, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And it's 
it's a portal. It's it's literally just that a doorway that the universe has put in front of you. I'm not picking up that this is a bad thing. I'm picking up that this is just you trying to elevate where the relationship is at now. And um, then we have this card in the center of the reed, the strawberries. Now the strawberries in this deck, it's a very special card. It's unique to this tarot deck. It's about old things rotting away and new things coming to the surface. So I feel like this is just a dynamic change of what's going on between two people here. I don't necessarily see a break off, but I see that this is just old habits or the old way of doing things in a relationship rotting away. And that becoming part of the soil for new things to grow. And um, here on their side, very funny because you have the Hierophant and the Emperor on their side. Is somebody making a big ultimate decision here about you and keeping you around? Or like, I have no idea what this is. We're going to have to see what it is when I clarify. But there's something stable here and there's something about this Emperor that looks very good to me. What's rotting away in this situation? I have no idea. And what's that new thing that's coming here? I have no idea. I only know the result here is you get somebody that makes up their mind, this emperor, and they head forward towards the good things, the great things. And it all started with this Ace of Pentacles, a little doorway that opened up for you with the universe. It could have been a hint. It could have been a situation for some of you, it could have even been a move, I'm feeling. And um, here, you get that second special oracle card that's specific to this deck, which is the gift. In the future, there's somebody here that gives you a gift. It could come in the form of a key, physically. And that's funny because I saw that Ace of Pentacles as moving, the actual physical move, and maybe some of you are moving and receive this gift of a key from a person here. Now, the problem is that there's a little dissatisfaction with the situation here. It could be when you move or you connect with a person, there may be some sort of dissatisfaction. And I feel like this is kind of like a repetitive thing for you, Taurus, with the dissatisfaction. I keep feeling that for you in the reads, and I really feel whatever the dissatisfaction is, it happens after you receive this gift. And then the last card here is the High Priestess. This is a spiritual gift that you get and maybe it's you realizing that you don't always have to connect to people. You don't always have to connect to relationships. You don't always have to depend on somebody giving you something physically. And maybe it's just some sort of internal change with that strawberries card in the middle that, that needs to take place with inside of you. To realize that the beauty of love relationships is not holding people to some sort of expectation. And when I see the High Priestess, this is similar to the Aries read. Um, it's maybe you walking away from this stable situation. Let's see. And the Seven of Pentacles here, the general energy is just a lot of work and no results. You've been doing a lot of work 
on this situation and you haven't been seeing results for a while, I don't get a sense of betrayal. I don't get a sense of like this side. And that was really creepy. As soon as I said betrayal, I heard thunder outside. Some of you may have been betrayal, but I don't think for most of you, it's not betrayal. It's maybe that just things are just showing up to kind of... I really can't find the words, so maybe you guys are having trouble finding the words too, but even though everything looks good in a relationship and everything seems like it's functioning, there are things that are left unsaid that are not functioning here. And it could be because this emperor feels everything is good and everything is going fine, that they don't have to do maintenance. And maybe giving you gifts isn't a way of maintaining the relationship. I'm starting to see that here. I'm kind of curious what the clarifiers are going to say here for you, Taurus. Let's see. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles while you're here. Um, it seems like things are working out between two people here, but you're not seeing the overall result that you want. So let's see what this is for you, Taurus, with the Seven of Pentacles and why you're here today. Four of Wands, the Justice, Five of Pentacles. Well, it does seem that somebody wants a higher level of commitment here for a more balanced situation within their life. And when I see the Justice here, this is also like signing papers. Some of you may want a marriage from somebody or, like I said, elevating the relationship to something else with this Strawberries card, right? But instead, you feel like you're being left on hold here. This Five of Pentacles, you feel like you've been left on hold. This is a very, like, um, do or die feeling for your situation. And I hope it's not you, Taurus, holding up people to a do or die standard, you know. And I think that's what the High Priestess at the end in your future outcome is saying, you know, we're not holding anybody accountable. We're not holding anybody to this do or die standard. But maybe maybe there, there, there is a reason, you know. I understand sometimes people, they need to do or die, right? Like, um, especially military members. Um, for their girlfriends, for their spouse, do or die decisions are, are essential. And that can leave you kind of fretting here. Like, what is it that's happening between us? What's the future overall goal? See with the page of chalices here in the past. King of wands. Wow. The fool. You could be dealing with an Aries or fire sign. This is a third Aries card you pull out. Or Gemini. You have a lover's card here. Doesn't matter what sign, but... There's somebody here in your past. Just like I said at the beginning of the read of this page, the chalice is so beautiful. Like, I don't get any sense of, like betrayal from this person at all either it's like they show up like a king wanting to take a leap of faith into a love relationship which i think is perfectly healthy especially for a fiery individual like this this is their love language but maybe it just stops there right that maybe it's like this the feeling i get is like i just want a girlfriend i don't want a wife right so marriage talks are scary because they just want something to love somebody to love right and they want somebody in their space but 
Maybe like getting engaged is a scary thing for this person. Right? And that can go for, you know, if you're female, maybe you just wanted a boyfriend and you're not into the whole idea of settling down. That's not what you were looking for. And maybe somebody's holding pressure to you here with this Ten of Pentacles in the middle. Now, I never clarify in the middle because I feel like the middle cards give us kind of a connection, like a bridge to the next card. And then these videos would just be like 30 minutes long, which I'm sure you guys would love 30 minute long tarot videos, but I'm trying to keep them down to 20, 25 minutes this week, okay? So let's see with the Hierophant here. Your card, Taurus, here on the end. The Three of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody's just offering you something here in the past. But when it comes to something a little bit more elevated, upper echelon type of relationship, maybe that's the, the, dead, the line. And maybe some of you do have deadlines, right? That makes sense. Like, I live in a country where there's foreigners transiting in and out and um, military as well, like military couples. And, you know, they meet somebody that's a resident or they live in Japan and then you know, they're about to leave station and it's like, well, you're just going to leave and not, you know, marry me and take me with you or you're not going to stay here and we'll we'll be married. There's no ultimate uh, end game scenario here for that. And maybe there's that pressure of that feeling of like, well, what is the end game scenario? And I feel like that leads to heartbreak. But at the same time, that makes you cold. And maybe that possibly makes you look out for newer things in your life with this Ace of Wands. Newer things that looked and appeared fast, like the past situation here. Um, not so much of a good thing, but at the same time, like it's on their side too as well. So let's take that onto account that Maybe they weren't looking for marriage. They're just looking for something a little less grounded with this Ace of Wands. Just something more of uh, this is for the time being, living in the now. I think of that animal tarot deck, the animal oracle. I believe it's the hummingbird and it's be here now. And I really get that feeling of this person just trying to be here now for you instead of like years down the line. Well, let's see here what the Ace of Pentacles has to say. Seven of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Page of Chalices. You know, this is kind of petty from your side. This is kind of like you putting up boundaries now because you're not getting the things your way and maybe trying to walk away. Although it is painful while you're trying to walk away, this page of chalices is showing me that you just want somebody to show affection to you and that they want that love relationship similar to the way the page of chalices showed up here in the past, right? Because you saw the Page of Chalice turn into that King of Wands with the Fool and the Lover's card being clarified there. I see you, Taurus, and you may be running away, but you know that doesn't necessarily mean that the grass is going to be greener on the other side. But maybe that's what's talking about here, the strawberries rotting away for something new. Let's see what this emperor is here. This is you, maybe, or your person coming to a decision about something. Maybe they changed their mind about you after you've walked away from the situation. That's acted like a fertilizer for them to grow into something new here. Let's see here. Page of Wands, the Moon. The Four of Swords. What I see here on their side is that they, they did offer you loyalty. They are loyal. But there's something they're hiding. 
and they may be hiding this from a space of not hiding like a side dude or side chick, right? This is like hiding something about their deep psyche with the four of swords. And maybe it's been a learning experience where they have to adapt because I see lizards on the page of wands here and they may have to adapt to the fire that you're bringing here. Taurus, they may have to adapt to that. They may have to adapt to the, the feeling of coming to some sort of commitment, higher level commitment here. And that's scary because they don't know what's on the other side. And in, in turn, that just sends them into this quiet healing space. And maybe that's what sends them away or pushes them away here. Let's see what this gift is here in the future coming up for you, Taurus. What's this gift card for the Taurus? Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Well, <laughs> It's been a ride. This has certainly been a ride for you with this gift card. Um, it looks like after you've dropped a situation that's put you in your head in a mental space, somebody shows up with the original Ten of Pentacles from the end. This is really beautiful. Although it's been a ride, I feel like there is somebody here that will show up from the past for you. But I feel like maybe not a past person, maybe somebody in your space now. And this can just be a simple energy shift that's going on with the strawberries card of the old them rotting away once they've come out of some sort of mental space of theirs or mental like uh, blockage that they've got going on here. With this four of chalices here connecting us to the high priestess, let's see what that could be. Two of chalices, death card. And the hangman, very beautiful. <laughs> huh. <laughs> You're gonna love this, Taurus. Um, it just seems that somebody here was being afraid of a situation with you, but they see you for their ultimate beauty. Um, You walking away from situations gives people that fuel to change, to reconceptualize relationships on a, on a higher level here. Um, with the Two of Chalices and the Death card and the Hangman, it's the both of you looking at relationships in a whole different way now. I'm not picking up so much this is a no communication situation. I'm picking up this is more of a before this becomes something serious recalibration of what's going on with you and your person, Taurus. There's some deep changes going on now in the mid-month of March for you going on into April. And I do feel by the spring that Everything about this relationship will be sort of like rewired, like the, the hard drive will be rewired or, you know, like an upgrade to your system here with this person. See what's being hidden on your side is the hermit. You just have to take some time for yourself, spend some time at home, some, some time alone. And I feel like with this hermit is uh, you receiving advice from your friends at, your time, at this time is probably not advised. For their side, Ten of Swords, yeah, they're cleaning up a lot of past stuff. This person's cleaning up a lot of past things. Um, and they possibly had to do that at the beginning with you, clean up a lot of things to move forward into a relationship. And, but that may be harder if there's demands on for the relationship to elevate somewhere else uh, into something more than just, uh, I don't know, like a partnership. I do see a good result here at the end though. 
and um, a very happy one as well because you guys are going to start looking at things in a more spiritual aspect when you guys connect here in the end. And that's all I got for you this week, Taurus. I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy. Bye.